angels. I know I've got wispy bits everywhere and I really apologize, but I have a slight issue with making my hair actually look neat. My ballet teacher used to say to me, she used to say, Imogen, you look like you've been dragged through a bush and I would think I'd done the neatest bun I'd ever done in my life. <laughs> anyway, hello honeys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen, thank you so much for joining me. I am so grateful that you've even found me. I'm a hun, my huns are huns, and you could be a hun as well, if you want to be, I hope you want to be. So hit that subscribe button and join my family of huns. Also look how cute. By the way, that was just me moving on this. Can you hear that? Yeah, cute. Cute. I'm surrounded by little hearts and also, I don't know if you can see, but there's little butterflies on the hearts. How cute! Little orange butterflies because I'm wearing an orange top. Speaking of which, have I got lipstick on my teeth? No, I don't. So I apologise about the wispy bits, but today we are doing the best and worst of 2017 makeup wise. I want to just quickly start by saying one quick thing. You know I'm a cringe, you know I like to be cringy, but actually I don't like to be cringy, that just is me as a person. 2017 was the best year of my life, so I can't even explain it to you and I want to say thank you. I want to take a moment to just say thank you for making 2017 the best year of my life. I'm not going to start crying because quite like my makeup. I was looking through makeup and I was thinking, okay, I want to do a best and worst of 2017, but then I was thinking, oh my God, I started YouTube in 2017. This is just amazing. And I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think I'm a makeup guru. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm amazing at makeup because I don't think I am amazing. But one thing I will say is discovering and looking back at all these products, I'm like, oh my God, I only found this because I started YouTube. I started doing drugstore hauls. I started doing makeup tutorials. And I've discovered so much makeup that I know I'm going to keep forever, that I love, and this year's been the most amazing thing because of all of you. Like, starting YouTube was the best ever thing of my life, and I want to say thank you so much to every single person who watches me, who subscribed to me, who has helped me go on this journey, and I cannot wait to see what this year brings us, so I just wanted to say a massive thank you and that I love you, but I'll stop being cringy now. I'll probably be cringy the whole time, won't I? But I like it. I like being cringy. Okay, I want to start with the worst makeup of 2017 because actually, I have less worse than good. How can I word that? I have more good stuff than bad stuff. And I thought, start with the bad stuff, you know, it sets the tone, and then all of a sudden at the end we're like, that's amazing, that's amazing, that's sick, that's sick, I love it. You know what I mean? Doing the worst of 2017 is quite hard for me because I'm not a very negative person. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are things I don't like, and I'm like, I don't like it. But being negative about things, I was thinking, are people gonna not like this video because I'm being negative? And also, if I say that I don't like something from one brand, it doesn't mean I hate the whole brand because there are so many things of that brand that I love. But I'll explain that as I go on. So let's start with the worst. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, I'd be so grateful. Keep top isn't it a little dull okay so i've got my little holographic bag in here oi, oi. i'm gonna start with something really controversial i'm just gonna go ham i'm gonna go in i'm gonna go in i'm gonna start with the bye bye under eye it full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer i know a lot of people are gonna be thinking oh my god imogen that's the best concealer in the world what are you talking about all of the amazing youtubers in america use it and obviously it works on their skin but unfortunately angel bye bye under eye i'm gonna actually have to say ba ba see ya honey because it wasn't good for Imogen it wasn't actually good I have normal to dry skin and when I put this under my under eye I obviously might have used too much but even when I've tried a little less it still does it it just creases into every fine line I get lines under my eyes and I struggle to find a good concealer for under my eyes because of that and this just it, I didn't even leave it for a second and it was setting into these lines and I was like babes 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 come back come back come back I was hoping it would be the best concealer ever, and I'm sure for so many people it's amazing, but I just, I just... Also, the colour range of it isn't that great either. It was difficult to find something that wasn't peachy undertone, and this was a little bit of a peachy undertone, which is amazing for brightening the under eye, but I was looking to more conceal, so it just creased so much. I could only use this under my eyes. I could never use this anywhere else for my concealer. I could never use it here, here, or here, anywhere else, because it just literally... I was like putting on my powder, and I was like, oh my god. Oh my goodness. And even before I put on the powder, it was like seeping into my skin. I was like, no. So yeah, I'm really sad to say that. I bet a lot of people love that. And please don't hate me if you love it and I don't. We all have different opinions. My dad always says it like this to me. He always says, Imogen, there are a million different medicines that work for different people. And makeup's the same. You might be able to take a medicine, which I can't take. You know, people have different skin types. People have different... Everyone is different. People have different bodies. People have different skin types. So what I might not like, you might love. But, but apparently the IT Cosmetics BB Cream is meant to be, or is it CC Cream? Oh god. Apparently the IT Cosmetics CC Cream is meant to be insane. It's like full coverage for a CC Cream. So I do need to try that. Do need to try that. This concealer is £22.50. I prefer ones from the drugstore. I have so many drugstore concealers that I absolutely adore in comparison to this. And this is £22.50 and they're probably £6. Bye bye in 2017, you go in. So the ones I don't like, they go to the left. 
This is another controversial one. This is really bad of me. This is really bad of me. Okay, so I love to glow. I love to hydrate my skin. I love to prep before I put anything. And apparently I like to chuck it on the floor. Thanking you very much. I like to prep my skin. I like to make sure it's hydrated. I love a glow from within. You know, I love that lit from within glow underneath your foundation. However, how to the ever. I'm really sad I'm gonna say this because this is really bad because I love this brand, but, and it's expensive. The Charlotte Tilbury, I'm gonna say it. The Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. Huns, this is expensive again as well. This is expensive. This is actually expensive. And I just feel like it doesn't do that much. I'm gonna put it on my hand and I'm gonna show you. But it just isn't really that glowy. I mean, for someone who likes a subtle glow, it's probably amazing. But for the money, I was like, what? Like, really? Charlotte Tilbury has some of the most amazing makeup products and she is incredible. But this, I was just a bit disappointed. There's a product from Superdrug, which is from their Radiance range. It's their day cream. And that's like two pounds. And this is 38 pound 50 huns. Oh, it's got a bit of dirt on it. It's got a bit of makeup on it. Wonderful, there you go, Imogen. Oh, you're so bad. You're so bad at this. How am I sitting here saying best and worst of beauty when I can't even clean something? 38 pound 50, what are you saying? I'm saying it's gonna have to be a worst of 2017. I'm really sorry, huns, but I just felt like it wasn't pigmented enough. It doesn't warrant £38.50 for definite. Hey, hon, so I did a testing video on the Gigi Hadid makeup collection. Absolutely loved it. A little bit too expensive for what it actually is. And then I discovered this. So this is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. This is £5.99. The exact same one from Maybelline. Both Maybelline. I'm just going to show you. Pen. And then I'm going to show you. Pen. Two of the exact same product. It wears the same. It goes on the same, it lasts the same, it's the same colour, two pound difference. So obviously just because it's the name, they've added two pounds extra on, which I'm a little bit disappointed of, but along with it having a worst of 2017, you're right there Charlie, my little doggy, you okay bubs? Along with it being the worst of 2017, they've then given me the best. So Maybelline came through for me, worst, but then also redeemed themselves because I found this. I wouldn't have discovered this without trying this. So when I tried this, I was like, Maybelline eyeliners must be amazing. Tried this one, I was like, buzzing. So worst, best. Do you wanna come up, Char? So this is the Lasting Perfection Collection Concealer. Adore it, adore it. Fun fact, it's one of the fastest selling concealers in the drugstore and so many are sold per minute. Like they love it so much. People go off the handle for this, like this flag off the shelves, but they brought out the colour correctors. However, slightly disappointed. I mean, I don't really use the purple one anyway, but this was the only one I had lying around because obviously I'd given the other two away. But the other ones, they have a yellow one, they have a banana coloured one, but I much prefer this. I would rather use this than the banana one. And I was thinking, not being funny, but how can you bring out the same product? It'd be the same formula, just a different colour and it doesn't work as well. I don't know, so yeah, this was one of my worst because I just feel like it didn't sit right, it creased a lot, it didn't really do much, the coverage wasn't as great as this one, so I'm thinking, how can you get the coverage on it? Mm, you know. And also controversial, this is the L'Oreal lip paint. I love L'Oreal, L'Oreal is one of my favorite brands in the drugstore, however, this lip paint, it's very pale, which I chose, I chose this color, fine, it's very pale. However, I loved it at the beginning, I thought, oh, it's so creamy, it's nice, it's meant to be a matte lip paint, it's not matte, but I liked that because I don't really like very matte things because I have dry skin, my lips dry out a lot, my lips dry out very quickly, so I was quite buzzing about the fact that it was creamy for a matte product. However, it literally doesn't stay on your lips, like, I could have this on for 20 minutes and be gone. You know those lip paints that just don't stay on, like, you have those ones where they will last all day and you're like, I put this on 12 hours ago and she'd be still chilling. You could sleep in it and she'd be still there. Unfortunately, this L'Oreal lip paint, I don't know about the other colors, but this one, definitely, it just doesn't stay on. It doesn't stay on, it just won't stay. And I'm like, you meant to be a paint, I'm meant to paint you on my face. Paint's not meant to move, baby girl. Then, also very controversial, this is the Benefit Browsing. This is a no from me because this is the number four and there's only one more up and that's the number five. I like to use a gray, ashy color when I'm putting on my eyebrows because obviously I have dark hair and anything like this just doesn't match my face and doesn't match my hair and doesn't match my eyebrows. This is one of the darkest ones and the one up from this as just as warm colored so I don't like anything warm on my eyebrows because it's not my shade and I'm a little bit disappointed in the color range from Benefit because I'm just hoping that maybe they'll bring out something more actually because I love the Benefit brow products so much but the colors in this browsings the colors just aren't great 
the colours just aren't great. They're, they're very warm toned, they're not cool toned. I mean, listen, I don't really know exactly what I'm talking about because I'm not the greatest, but I kind of understand what I'm saying. I hope you do. So this is the Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Press Powder. It's a no from me. Actually, going onto this, I actually have a product which is one of the, my favourite things I discovered in 2017. So, Soap and Glory, I still love you so much. I love Soap and Glory so much. However, I, I want to be honest with my hands. Like, I'm not a liar. I couldn't sit here and say that I loved everything of 2017 because I did love everything of 2017. And I want to always be honest with you and always be truthful. So, I'm just going to be honest with you. This wasn't my favourite product. It's meant to be like a banana powder. It's meant to be a pressed powder, a compact powder. And it's, it's a yellow colour, so it's meant to sort of brighten under the eyes. It just settled into every single fine line. I was like, oh my god, my face is so matte. It just didn't move. If I put it here, it wouldn't even blend out. It just wasn't great. I just didn't really like the product. I don't really like the formula of it. It didn't really move around my face. And it just settled into every single crease. And I was like, babes, I didn't even realise you had that many lines on your face. <laughs> I'm joking, but it did make me look like that. <laughs> and then I've got this product. This is the Illamasqua Gel Sculpt in Silhouette. I think they only do one colour in this. And this is meant to be a cream contour stick. However... I thought I loved this product when I was first trying out makeup and then now I've discovered so many other cream contours now I know what they should be like this is just a no go like this is a no go I'm going to show you it this is the darkest it actually goes which isn't dark enough for my skin tone at all I like to bronze up my face and contour with sort of a cool toned colour and also a bit darker than that however I'm going to show you now when you blend it out it goes to nothingness, it kind of stains your face. You know those cream contours you put on it and you can't move it? That's this. You can't actually move it. For anything really subtle, this would be amazing. If you just sort of dab it on with your thumb, just dab it on like that. But if you're trying to move this product around with a brush, you are not going to move it. It will not shift, it will not budge. It is not a loving life one for me. It is not a loving life. So I'm gonna put this one to the left. I'm really sorry because I do love Illamasqua, but it's just too thin and watery, but then also sticky and it won't move. And you're like, it's disappeared, but I can still see like a line. I don't know what's happening. I'm a little bit confused by this one. Okay, and then my two lip products that are a little bit of a no-go. I'm actually really sad about this one. This is the Smashbox Liquid Pigment in the colour Crush It. However, I have to be really cruel here and all of the Smashbox lip pigments, the liquid pigment, it's really weird because if I put these onto my lips, I can't do it now because I've got gloss on, but if I put this onto my lips, it sort of sits and then doesn't move. You know when you're trying to move a lip stick round, it won't move. And you're trying to move it around and you're like, it hasn't dried matte, it's still very much, I can still move it because it's creamy, but it'll just sit there in like a splodge and you're like trying to move it around and it'll stay there. They're not very pigmented at all. The colour is just not great. It looks as if it's nice on my hand and then you put it on your lips and you're like, where have you gone? It just won't move. Let's say I put some lip balm on then I put it on over the top. Oh wow, see you later. Like it'll just sit in like your little crevices, your little lines and then just sort of sit in the dry patches but won't move anywhere else. I just don't rate them, so that's a really sad one. That's really sad because I love Smashbox. Smashbox contour sticks are insane. Smashbox prime water is insane. Shame about that one. Last but by no means least, this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Well, I tried the purple one on and it did not come off. Bearing in mind, I'm loving life because it's staying on all day. And yes, if you want a lipstick that stays on all day, love your life, but just bear in mind, it will stay on all day, all the next day, probably all the next day, It'll stain your sheets. Missler water will never take it off. You need like nail polish remover to rip this stuff off. I'm joking, but you need to scrub your lips to get this off. So I was a little bit disappointed by that because yeah, like I'm buzzing, I'm loving life that it's staying on, but then I just wish it would come off as well at the same time. So this one just didn't move, it didn't move. It literally stained my lips and I was like, tiny bit concerned because it was purple, but it's okay. <laughs> also something I'm a little bit disappointed in is the Imus, whoa, apparently you can't get your words out, is the Rimmel Insta Contour Duo Contour Stick, right, so, bit of an annoying one. You buy the product and the Rimmel Contour Stick is amazing. So this is a plus because this is so blendable, it, blendable is that a word? It's so creamy, it blends out amazingly and you're loving life. On the other side, you get this, I haven't even opened it, see, so you can't even see the other side because I use the one on medium, this is the dark one, let me open it even though this little hand bun is never getting used. Apparently meant to be the highlight stick, it does absolutely nothing. Like, it just is non-existent. It just disappears. Like, it actually just disappears. I want them to bring out a creamy contour stick with just this side, because it would fly. Everyone would love it. They are so creamy, they're so blendable, they're so amazing. Blendable, you're saying it again, and you don't even know about the word. Bit disappointed, half and half. Just bring out this side, angels. Bring out this side in a full stick, and I would love my life. Live the dream. <laughs> okay, so that's the word. That's fine, isn't it? I wasn't negative too much, was I? I was just honest. Yeah, there's a difference between being negative and horrible and just being honest and truthful. So let's go on to the best. I'm so excited.
excited! Yay, we're on to the best makeup of 2017 now. So what I will start with is this. If you don't know, then you need to get to know that I absolutely adore this. This is the Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. You can get the green version of this. Oh my god. Mario Badesco skincare is insane. It's absolutely amazing. If you have a spot, you need to get the drying lotion because the drying lotion just sorts me out. I'll put it on the spot. In the morning, the spot is dry and it's disappearing. And I'm like, what? Is that even real? The under eye cream is amazing. I just needed to tell you this because I use this before my makeup as a primer. I use this after skincare. I use this during skincare. I use this throughout the day. I use this when I've just put my powder on my face and I want to bring my face back to kind of life. I use it as a little spritz for my highlight or any of my pigmented eyeshadows I want even more pigmented. I use this as a spray after my makeup. It's not a setting spray, but it does give my face a bit more of a refreshed look. I feel more revitalized, do you know what I mean? Let's give a spray now. It's like £7 for the small one and £11 for that, or £14. It's unreal. I get so much use out of it. I love it so much. So yay! Second thing, palettes. Let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. I got introduced to Makeup Revolution this year. Makeup Revolution has given me life. Makeup Revolution, the drugstore, has sorted a yell out 10 million times, probably? Yeah. Basically, I need to talk about their palettes. I need to talk about this one, because this one has been marad or da since I found it. It's actually new. It's actually quite new to Makeup Revolution. However, for the last two months, it has been a dream. I need you to see these colours and just understand that is my life in a palette. That is my life in a palette. That is my life. The transition colours here are just insane. The pinks, the mauvey colours, the dark browns, the black, the orange colours here. All of this line is just amazing. I can do so many, I mean, listen, I'm not amazing at makeup, but with this palette, I feel like I am. I can do so many different makeup looks with this, and most of the makeup that I wear on my eyes, anything that I use as a base is always this. I honestly, I'm obsessed with it. The white is so good for a brow bone. This on the crease, this colour is just beautiful. I can't explain these pinks, they're so pigmented. Makeup Revolution palettes are my favourite in the drugstore ever, because they're massive and you get so much. Speaking of which, this is the Amplified 35 palette. They also have this in pigments as well. Oh my god, look at that. Sorry, but does that not scream Morphe dupe? Yeah, Morph. Morphe or Morph? Oh, that's my laptop talking to me, so I was about that one, babes. But I can't explain it to you. Look at all these colours. Look at all these. Look at these colours. Look at this. Look at all this. That's Imogen right there. That's Imogen in the palette. Speaking of which, sorry, Hans, but like oranges, just everything in this palette is just insane. This warm tone palette is amazing. And you know what? Makeup Revolution do the best dupes out there. And I can't even explain it to you. The pigment on these eyeshadows is incredible. They feel so soft and buttery and amazing. Speaking of soft and buttery and amazing, I have just discovered this one and this is just insane. Like Laura Lee. I'm waiting for the day that Laura Lee asks me to hang out with her because like, I think we just have so much fun. Joke. Please just ignore me. I'm definitely joking. I just think she seems so fun and funny and amazing and she's just herself. She's every bit herself. But this palette, the packaging is like insane. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. But I can't explain to you these I can't explain it to you. Like, I can't explain it to you. These eyeshadows, I can't explain it to you. Ready for this one? I'm just gonna swatch this one once. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about that? I can't explain how buttery, soft, creamy, easy to blend, long lasting, pigmented. This is like, I need her to bring out a big palette. I need her to bring out a big palette because they would be the best shadows. I can't even explain it to you. Like they are amazing. In this palette, it might look like it's only 10 shadows, but in this palette I can make so many different looks from it. You can easily. I just can't deal. The whole palette is just incredible. Look how beautiful it is. She's done amazingly. I love the names of them. Okie dokie, scatterbrain, bum, diggity, cray cray, redonkulous, quirky, kooky, in one ear, out the other, ah ball. I love her. I love her. And speaking of which, speaking of YouTubers that brought out collaborations, Jaclyn Hill and the Morphe palette is the best palette. However, I've left it in my mum's. I'm so sad that I was filming this. I was like, I really need to film it before I see my mama. So mum's having a good old play with it. She loves it. But I can't explain it to you. That palette, like Laura Lee needs to do a big one, but that palette is my go-to for everything. The colours in the Jaclyn Hill palette, and she knew what she was doing as well. Like the it's insane. Like when you swatch a tiny bit of the pigment, it's so pigmented. Every shade blends out so incredibly amazing, but obviously they both know what they're doing. They've been doing this for years. They've tested out so many different makeup products. They knew what they were doing, and I think it's so amazing and so incredible. I just feel so lucky to be on a platform with such amazing, incredible, inspirational people that are bringing out their own palettes and doing their own thing and being so driven. I just think that's just amazing. I'm not gonna start crying, but I just feel so lucky to be able to do this. I feel so lucky that anyone even watches me. I can't explain it to you. I can't stop crying in a best of 2017. Can I stop crying? Right, next product. Oh, 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 it's magic. 
you know. I'm gonna talk about Stila now. I'm gonna talk about Stila. Okay, so this year I discovered Stila. Stila! I used to always go past Stila in Marks and Spencers and be like, what brand is that? You know, it's always sold in Marks and Spencers. If you go to Marks and Spencers Beauty, Stila is there. Well, anyway, is it Stila or Stila? I'm gonna call it Stila. I'm gonna call it Stila. Stila, don't steal her. Buy her. A joke. Wait, I think I'm funny. I'm definitely not. Anyway, that's such a dad joke, isn't it? This is my favorite primer ever 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 hands down hands down hands down it's called the one step prime preps smooths and nourishes this is so hydrating this lasts forever as well like you need one pump it is so smooth on your skin it is so hydrating for anyone that has normal to dry skin this feels amazing i love to have a really smoothing nourishing hydrating primer and this is it honestly it's so lightweight as well it is so lightweight it says I just read lightweight on here, but it is actually really lightweight. All in one lightweight serum instantly preps, primes, smooths, and moisturizes. I can't tell. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. And it feels cool on your skin. Like, you know when you put it on, you're like, even if your hands are warm, it still feels cool. Oh my God, it's amazing. Speaking of Stila, I'm wearing them on my eyes right now. The one I'm actually wearing on my eyes is this, the Molten Midnight. These are the Stila Magnificent Metals. And yes, Imogen, I do have most of the colors. I have six here. I'm obsessed with them. I always love finding a pigmented eyeshadow. And don't get me wrong, I love all of the ones I've spoken about. I love pigmented eyeshadows from so many different palettes. However, you will never find something as pigmented as these. And if you do, angels, tell me let me know because these are insane it's like putting a glitter but so much easier you don't have to apply glitter glue no 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 it has it in this it just sticks you don't you shouldn't use a brush i went to a meal that was talking about the launch of these and oh my god i was so lucky enough to go to that meal i couldn't even deal with it i was sitting there like am i meant to be here did i get the wrong invitation like did they send out the wrong person they are so pigmented like can you see them on my eyes the lady told me at the meal that you should actually apply them with the blender because the lady told me at the mill that you should actually apply them with the spatula that it comes with because if you apply it with a brush you actually lose the pigment and this just there's honestly if you apply it with that brush there's no fallout they stay on forever and they are just so pigmented i'll show you one of them i can't deal i'll show you the gold one can you see that can you see that of course you can see that it's insane it's insane sealer babes you came through speaking of pigment and loving my life with highlight and whatever oh my goodness I discovered, and I think the world discovered, these iconic illuminator drops, and I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. They are a tiny bit expensive, however, they will last you. This, I got at the beginning of the year, and it has lasted me until, oh, mm. I got this at the beginning of last year, and it has lasted me until now. You don't need a lot, and it goes such a long way. Like, I, I can't. Just look at this. Watch this. Here we go. I'll put one drop on. Well, one drop will be too much, but where can I find it? Oh, yeah. I'm not very good at this, am I? But look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They just got the pigment to a T. They have them in three different, they have them in four different colours now, I think. Four different colours. I use the original. I use this here when I'm going on a night out. I use this here when I'm going on a night out. I use it on my cheekbones. I use it on the end of my nose. It is just the best liquid highlight I've ever seen in my life. Mix it with a little bit of a BB cream or a moisturiser on holiday on your face and you just look like this glowing goddess. Wait, you look like the glowing goddess that you are. Wait. I need to get this off my hand. Oh, I'm a gym. That's when your dad's OCD comes in handy because he's got Huggies baby wipes all over the house. So thank you very much, daddy. I love love you. Also, I really want to do a video on dupes. I'm obsessed with dupes. I'm always looking for dupes. I love it so much. I'm such a little dupe hunter. Oh, like the ghost hunter, but dupe hunter. Should I rename my YouTube channel? Joking. I'm definitely not going to do that, but oh my. So this is the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. I just went on a whim. I used the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I'm going to show you them next to each other. Yeah, I need to tell you about this. They are the same. Is anyone seeing that? They are the same. They wear the same. They look the same. They are the same product. However, the price is not the same. So let's talk about this. Nine pound, 24 pound. I think we know which one wins. So this, NYX was a godsend for me in 2017. So this one is definitely a winner. A winner-rama, no? Lost it there, Imogen. Foundations. Oh my, oh my, good, 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 lord. Maybelline do my favourite foundations, 100%. Maybelline do my favourite drugstore foundations, and if not, some of my favourite foundations ever. So this is my recent discovery, and I'm obsessed. It was a last minute 2017, but it was a stayer, and it's a stayer forever. This is the Maybelline Full Coverage 24-Hour Wear Foundation, and it is just insane. It says everything it says on the tin. It's full coverage. It's also not completely matte. It's still a little bit dewy. It doesn't 
dry out on my skin, it doesn't set into my dry patches, it is 24 hour, it is full coverage, it's amazing. You still feel like you've got skin underneath, it doesn't feel so heavy, it's just insane. I also love the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 220, that's my colour, that was 36, warm sun, I'm obsessed. Normally, I mix my Maybelline 220 if I want extra coverage. Hello L'Oreal. L'Oreal, L'Oreal. L'Oreal needs to sort us out with Pro Glow though. Like, is it that one? Pro Glow. Why do we not have it here? Because apparently it's the best foundation ever. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Glow, Pro Glow. Mm, I probably got the words wrong there. But you know which one I mean. The one we don't sell in the UK that ha you have in America, Angels. And if you're watching this in America, then I love you so much, I'm so jealous. I really want it. It's the one with the blue packaging. Anyway, when you want full coverage, this is full coverage. It's too full coverage for me, so that's why I mix it with the Maybelline Fit Me. So I want to mix it with a really dewy foundation, so then it gives the extra coverage with this one, but then the dewiness of the Maybelline Fit Me, it just comes through, it just comes through. So this is the 24 Golden Beige, and this is a full cover wear foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover, and I'm telling you, it's total cover. I would suggest mixing it with a lighter foundation, especially if you don't want as much coverage. But when I'm going on light out, everyone says, what foundation are you wearing? I'm like, it's two, and they're the best two in the world. And now I've got this. I'm loving my life. I'm loving my life. Okay, speaking of coverage, this is just insane. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I have never found a corrector like it. It is just the perfect pinky color for under your eyes. It just sits perfectly under my eyes. It doesn't crease. It doesn't make my eyes get lines underneath it. It doesn't look heavy. It completely counteracts any darkness under my eyes. It just brightens my under eye. It is just amazing. I know it's expensive, but it lasts a long time. I bought this at the beginning of 2017, and look at that. Yeah, I use this a lot of the time. If you have dark circles, if you have anything you need to correct, Becca do the best correctors, and it's just amazing. It's so lightweight, it's still a bit dewy, it doesn't settle, it doesn't seep in, it doesn't sit, it just lays. That's what it does, it just lays. Then we're on to lip products, and I actually can't find my favourite one, so wait there, I'm gonna find it, but I'll talk about these ones first, and I'll save the best till the last. So, I'm obsessed with this colour. This, this is the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte in 207. This is the colour. This is the colour of dreams. I am obsessed with this colour. I literally wear it so much. It is quite dark, but it just suits every skin colour. It suits every different colour eye colour. It is just a beautiful colour. I've obviously mentioned in this video, I have dry skin, and I do get really dry lips. This just doesn't give me dry lips. It doesn't seep into little bits of my dry, cracked lips. No, no, no. It just sits perfectly and it lasts forever, but I can wipe it off. I can wipe it off. You're eating dinner. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there, Hunt. I'm obsessed with this lip colour. I'm just obsessed. A lot of people ask me when I'm wearing it what it is and I'm like, I need to tell you about it. I need to tell you about it. So, I love you so much. This is amazing. Then also introducing the NYX Butter Glosses. Obsessed. Obsessed with NYX lip liners. Obsessed with NYX matte lips. NYX matte lips. NYX matte lip creams. And I'm obsessed with their Butter Glosses. This is just insane. I have the Madeline. I have the Fortune Cookie. Oh, God. They are just so beautiful. They are so glossy. They come in so many different colours. And they're so affordable. So this, I'm really bad at this, aren't I? I can't even find the top of it. I'm so bad. I shouldn't be allowed to do YouTube, like, what am I doing? I'm showing you something that has... Okay, let's just ignore that I'm doing that. I kept looking, thinking, what's that behind me? But it's one of the butterflies. Anyway, I love you all so much, and please don't judge me. I will find the topper. It's upstairs somewhere in my makeup bag. Anyway, the lid, I mean. This is my favourite nude lipstick in the world. This is the Soap & Glory Super Nude Matte. That is actually the name. I kept thinking, is that an actual name? Is that actually? It's called Super Nude Matte. If you ever see me on Instagram, if you do follow me, I'm so grateful if you see me on Snapchat anywhere. This is the majority of what I wear every single day. This, with the Rimmel Lip Liner and Cappuccino, it is my go-to. I wear it every single day, unless I'm changing it up, but this is just my go-to nude. I'm so obsessed with this from Soap & Glory. It's mind-boggling. I'm obsessed with it. I just think it's perfect. It sits right on my lips. It's creamy. It's not too matte. It's a lipstick, but it's also got such a beautiful formula that just glides across my lips and just sits really nicely, and I'm just obsessed with the colour, so this is the best one for me. So, angels, that is it. That is the best and worst makeup of 2017. I have loved doing this video. It's been so nice to sort of reflect on what I've worn. Like, I've thought about every single product, like, when I got it, because I remember everything, especially throughout this journey. I've just been so grateful to discover things while discovering it with you. It's been amazing to do hauls and do testing videos and just discover new products that I love and I get to share with my best friends. I just feel so incredibly lucky that I have all of you. I will never, ever stop being grateful for it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I am so so grateful for every single one of you. I love you with all my heart. I know I'm really cringy and really sloppy, but that is me as a person. So, if you're new to my channel, then basically we play a style game. You just gotta guess the style that I'm mom and too.
also my shout out this week goes to Molly Barrett. Molly Barrett, I love you so much. If you want a shout out, then all you need to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, turn my post notifications on, and then comment I am a hun when you're done with it. So make sure you comment to me below. I love you all so much. I love you, Molly. Thanks for always being so kind. Thanks for writing to me in my comments. I always read your long comments. I love you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love you with all my heart. I love all of you angels with all my heart. I cannot explain it to you. Thanks for even watching this video. So until next time, I love you so much. I can't wait to do this in 2018. Wait, I can't wait to do this in 2019 for 2018, is that right? Yeah? Okay. <gasps> Hopefully I can still be doing YouTube then, I hope I can. I love you all with all my heart, thanks so much, I love you. Here's to 2018, because this is our year. So until next time, angels, I'm gonna love you, and I'm gonna leave you. That went so wrong. What were you doing? What were you doing? Oh, there you go. The flyaway bits have been really distracting probably, haven't they? Oh, I'm sorry. Love you.